never thought about why no prominent men besides 50 Cent have come forward and corroborated these dark claims about P. Diddy? Do they all think that these claims are false, or is there something else? And then after the fourth suit was filed against Diddy, Diddy announced he'll donate all the proceeds from the documentary to support SA victims. He wrote, my God, 17? Was no one off limits? This documentary is gonna blow you away. Did he do it or not? Coming soon. But then, Fiddy shared another post, seemingly implicating Diddy's friend Rick Ross in essay allegations. Fiddy shared a clip from a recent interview with former bad boy artist Mark Curry, who admitted Diddy used to spike bottles of champagne and give women pills. Fiddy merged this video with snippets of Rick Ross's controversial song, where he seemingly bragged about drugging and essaying women with the lyrics, Put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't even know it. I took her home and I enjoyed that. She ain't even know it. By the way, not a single high-profile industry figure has come forward to defend Diddy's character. All the rappers and moguls who were partying with him for years are staying quiet. And fans are now saying all these people, including Rick Ross, need to be investigated. In the intricate tapestry of power and wealth, a disturbing pattern occasionally emerges, one that reveals the dark underbelly of privilege and influence. The narrative often unfolds in a similar manner. A powerful individual is suddenly unmasked and their heinous acts laid bare for the world to see. Yet, what remains perplexing is the deafening silence from their peers, other influential figures who, by all accounts, should be vocally condemning these actions. This silence raises a haunting question. Are they silent because they share in these same dark deeds, fearing that their own misdeeds may come to light? And since we're in the business of issuing subpoenas now, here are a few more that I filed. A subpoena to Jeffrey Epstein's estate to provide the flight logs for his private plane. Given the numerous allegations of human trafficking and a sexual abuse surrounding Mr. Epstein, I think it is very important that we identify everybody that was on that plane. Epstein's estate gave the files to the U.S. Virgin Islands government. The Daily Mail obtained the files and broke down who and how the people were involved. I'm looking at this article. Uh, this is Irina Shake, Chris Rock, Chris Rock, Chris Rock. Now, I know some of you may be asking, what does Chris Rock's involvement with Jeffrey Epstein have to do with P. Diddy? Well, that's because you're not looking outside of the matrix and analyzing that hidden code that provides the correlation. The correlation is that there's so many wealthy and powerful men that are participants in the clandestine underground world. Even though Diddy's case is separate from Epstein and his cohort of secret island visitors, they're just variations of the same nucleus. It's, it's the same underworld and the same alleged acts. The concept isn't far-fetched when examined through the lens of human behavior and historical precedents. Power and wealth can create an insulated world where rules, where the rules of morality and legality seems malleable. Within these circles, the sense of invulnerability can develop, bolstered by mutual protection and shared secrets. It's plausible to speculate that some members of these elite networks engage in illicit activities, believing their status places them above reproach or consequence. In one of their own falls from grace, it is not just a scandal, but a crack in their armor. To speak against the perpetrator might mean drawing scrutiny to themselves. After all, in a world where relationships are currency, being part of the inner circle often means participating or at least turning a blind eye to to the darker aspects of these alliances. It's, it's a twisted form of solidarity, one rooted in self-preservation rather than loyalty. You can also see examples of, of, of this with occasional whistleblower accounts and investigative reports that manage to pierce the veil of secrecy, like when a CIA or FBI whistleblower comes forward and exposes mass corruption within, within the agencies. These stories often depict a world where transgressions are normalized, where the powerful protect their own and where silence is both a shield and a weapon. However, it is crucial to recognize that it's not a blanket statement about all wealthy and powerful individuals. Like that's not what this is. Many use their influence for positive change and are as appalled by criminal acts as the general public. But when it comes to the music industry, Hollywood and politics, so many of these people are engaging in the same underground illicit behaviors, and this is what prevents them from speaking out, especially here in Washington, D.C., where I live. I've <laughs> So I've been really contemplating on should I or should I not make a video about the D.C. sex parties amongst the elites, you know, like the politicians, the judges, the lobbyists, because 
I have some inside information from a person that told me that they make a lot of money hosting these parties for a prominent figure in DC. And there are some pretty interesting attendees. You know, <laughs> the info they told me was extremely detailed. And in my personal opinion, I actually believe them. I really do. However, even though that story would really help bolster my channel, <laughs> I feel like that's one of those stories that could potentially get me seriously hurt or even worse. <laughs> because I live right here in the center of the swamp. So I won't be making that video. Anyway, this video is purely speculative. It's just a hypothesis to explain the silence that often follows the fall of a powerful figure. It's a reminder of the potential corrupting influence of power and the importance of accountability and transparency, even or especially amongst those who wield significant influence. As society continues to grapple with these issues, it, beco it becomes increasingly important to remain vigilant, ensuring that power is not a gateway to impunity.